Republicans clearly never learned about people in glass houses, right? You know, the old expression, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Well, Republicans are living in one of the shakiest glass homes we have ever seen. And all they want to do is throw rocks. And that includes libertarian slash Republican slash he doesn't know what the hell he is, Rand Paul, who yesterday got confronted by MSNBC Stephanie Rule about corruption of political children. Here it is. You should, if you want to be fair, investigate Hunter Biden's uh, economic dealings in the Ukraine as well. Does that mean we should be looking deeper into how Jared Kushner's family uh, got foreign money for 666 Fifth Avenue? How, how Ivanka Trump got 13 trademarks from the Chinese government? How she was if, able to expand to her go, brand we, if, since, she, if, since if the president to go, took office? I mean, yeah. giddy up, if, let's if we do want it. To go, if we want to go down the road of the politics of self-destruction of everybody, criminalize all politicians on both sides of the aisle and go after their family, yes, we can do that. But both sides are doing that. Nobody really should excuse themselves and say, oh, we're holier than thou and Trump is evil. Now, listen, as I've repeatedly said so far, Hunter Biden has not been accused of doing anything illegal at all, even back in the day uh, with the Ukraine story. But if they want to investigate him, sure, whatever. But as Stephanie Rule pointed out there, uh, Rand, you have to understand that Trump's kids have been accused of crimes. Trump's kids are currently being investigated. I mean, hell, they're not even allowed to run a charity anymore in the state of New York because they were a bunch of frauds. And that case is actually still ongoing. That's just what we know so far. But Rule was correct to point out all these other horrible things. Jared Kushner taking money from Qatar to pay off his uh, buildings that were going under. All the little secret meetings that Jared Kushner had along with Eric Prince with Middle East leaders prior to the 2016 election. Maybe we need to start looking at those, Rand. And then of course, Ivanka Trump being awarded trademarks from China the day after she sat and had dinner at Mar-a-Lago with the president of China. And we're not just talking about, oh yeah, it's Ivanka's brand, you know, her, her wedding dresses and jewelry and shoes. Yeah, she got trademarks for those, but she also got trademarks for nursing homes, sausage casings, and voting machines. Why is Ivanka Trump making voting machines? I mean, why is Ivanka Trump making sausage? That also uh, does not sound appetizing, but why is Ivanka Trump making voting machines? Why does she have a trademark for Ivanka Trump brand voting machines? And could you imagine how much must you hate your parents or grandparents to send them to an Ivanka Trump nursing home? That is a death sentence if I've ever heard of one. But Rand, the point is, We have very real corruption with the children of the man in the White House right now. And they weren't just some far off group doing something overseas, banking off of daddy's name like Hunter Biden may or may not have done. No, no, Jared and Ivanka actually work in the White House. They they work there. These are White House official government employees. You know, you guys talk about Hunter Biden had no experience in energy before getting this job. Oh, and Ivanka and Jared had experience with government affairs. They know about policy and regulations and laws. No. So if you want to investigate children, have at it. Just please understand that any investigation also has to include the corrupt little spawn of the president as well. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.